can't believe Laney's let her sit this long. The fact that you can't stand Carla doesn't mean he's a grass. Seriously? We already know he's got a pile of cash and a fake passport sitting. Now he wants everyone to believe the police were happy let him go with a boot full of drugs. I'm with you, lad. All I'm saying is you need to try and see it from every angle before you do anything. I'm done waiting. He's obviously planning to head out into the wind at some point. Maybe that's after he hands us over to the police. He thought about that angle. What if he's telling the truth? He came straight to us the night it happened. Why would he do that? Because he knows it will get back to his... As soon as the police flip somebody, they get him back out onto the street ASAP. Ah. Uh, true. I just thought Lenny would have had experience with this sort of thing, though. Maybe there's something we don't know yet. We can't afford to gamble right now. Every time he's with us, we're taking a risk. No, I want him here. Today. We'll see how long his story holds up. I'll go for him. You know someone's up if you turn up out the blue. He might make a run for it. Or just keep it quiet. Whether he's a grass or no, we need to be careful. When do you see your parole officer again? Uh, it's, it's not until next week, I don't think. Is she happy with how you've been doing? Are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on. There's, there's a guy I know. Wait a minute. What is it? Get in. What for? Tyler wants a word. Yeah? Tell him I have a couple for him too. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Got stuff to do. It'll key. Get in the car. What do you want to talk about? I'm not discussing things in the street. I told you. Get in the car. And I told you I've got stuff to do. Connie! You can ride up front like a big boy or I can put you in the boot, but either way, you're coming with me. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got to go to jail, bud. OK? I won't be long. Hey, the man of the moment. You fancy a drink? Don't mess about. Just tell me what's up. Make it quick. I just thought we'd have a wee toast to your good luck. Luck? Stop by the police with a car full of drugs and you're out and about. You should do the lottery. Forget it, I have places to be. Where? Police headquarters. What are you trying to say? Have a guess. Oh, heads up. The cavalry's here. What's going on here? Why is he here? Who, Eddie? Oh, I don't know his name. Said he was from the letting agency when he came to our flat. You came to our flat? Found your fake passport. Money was real enough, though. What is all this about? It's what we'd like to know, love. What did I say? Now we know how he got out the neck so early. I got time off for good behaviour. Just a well-behaved way, you lad. Have you ever met this so-called parole officer he keeps going to see? <laughs> Connor, please tell me what's happening here. Oh, he can't. But I can. He's been working for the police. Your brother is a dirty grass. I'm telling you, you've got it wrong. This is not what it looks like. What else can I say? I'm not working for the police. I, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't, I swear it. He knows he's telling the truth. He would never do that. Well, maybe you can tell us why he's tucked away a snide passport and a pile of dough. You leave her alone. She's got nothing to do with this. But you do, so spit it out. It's none of your business. In this game, lad, everyone's business is everyone's business. God, what are they talking about? Check him out. Try to think up a wee story, because we've put him on the spot. We're wasting our time here, Eddie. Last chance, lad. <laughs> yeah. We'll take him to Lenny. He'll soon listen to his okay, team. OK, OK, OK. I, 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 was, I was getting... I was getting ready to leave. But Nicole's right. I'd never work for that mob. So why didn't you just do one? Because I don't know when I'm leaving. And what about the cash? Well, I've been saving up to buy a gun. Because before I leave, there's someone I need to kill. It's 
a convenient story right enough. Revenge on some enemy for the inside. Knowing what I know about you, I bet you made a few. This wasn't some petty argument about who got top bunk. Well, what is it then? Because so far I'm not buying it! Enough! Connor. What happened in there? This, uh... This one guy was on a mission to make my life hell. Got on the wrong side of a screw, it happens. No, he was my, um... <clears throat> he's my cellmate. Andrew Colt. He, uh, he ran the hall. He was sound with me at first. As soon as I made it clear that I wasn't going to be his wee pet, everything changed. He turned on you? I'd never been inside before, so I knew I was going to be an easy target. I just wanted to get my head down and get on with it. It wasn't long before the beating started. He beat you? <laughs> Every chance he got. After the process, getting locked up for the first time. Happened to all of us, I'm afraid, lad. And the beatings were nothing. Not compared to the dread of when the cell door shut. I never felt safe. I couldn't sleep. Scared of what you'd do next. It terrified me. Stole my canteen. Told me my food was poisoned. I lost so much weight because... I was starving. But he never stopped. Eventually I just... became completely shut off. Numb. I wanted to end it all. And for the first time I really understood how Dad must have felt. Huh? Desperate. And alone. I planned how I was going to do it. Every... Every single detail. And I was about to. But, you know, some old con found me. And stopped me. He saved my life. You know, he had a lot of clout with the screws. I got caught moved to another hall. Eventually the fear just turned into to hate. But that old guy would always say, best revenge is to live well, son. Sounds like a wise man. Oh, he was. And I'll never forget him. But I cannot forget what Colt did either. And I'll live well, son. Because the day that animal gets out, he's dead. Killing him's not going to change what happens to you, son. No. I know. I feel a whole lot better about her. It's until you're banged up again. For life. You're getting a pass. Put that hat on coat. It's not happening. Am I clear? I said, am I clear? Good. Right, on you go. Come on, pal.